Hi, preschool families. Um, so um, I'm hoping that lots of you have watched the plant um, videos that I made um, with my son where we were um, planting some seeds. And then after that, I posted a video of today that our seeds have sprouted. What I would like to have our friends do is make their own little observation journal. If we were in class, we would definitely be journaling about uh, what we're seeing with our plants growing. Um, and I made a tiny video, a short two minute video, showing you how to make a little book, really similar to this one. Um, I took piece, several pieces of paper, cut them into fourths, stapled them on the side, voila, I have a journal. Um, it doesn't matter if the papers are different color, it doesn't matter what the paper's made out of, it's all, it's fabulous. So um, I would like to give the, um, give preschoolers and parents an opportunity to do this together. But if that's not something that works for you, um, you could trace some of these words on here and let your preschoolers copy them. But the first thing we need to do is make a title. So you would write um, somebody's name and a comma. So we're going to say Mrs. Decker's Seed observation journal. So I did that with marker. You could do that with crayons. You could do it with colored pencils. You could do it with anything. Now, since this is a journal about plants, I'm going to maybe draw myself. I don't know if you can see this very well. Draw a cute little flower on here. So here's the leaves, here's the stem, it's growing in the grass, and then my flower is going to have pretty pink petals and maybe a blue dot in the middle. So there's my little flower on my stem and um, maybe I want to color it, maybe I want to draw some more flowers, Maybe I want a big, pretty yellow sunflower on the top of a brown stem. So this is my journal, so I get to do anything I want. Um, over here, I'm going to draw a tiny seed and maybe some soil. And I'm going to think about that we would need some water on our seed. There's my water. And then maybe up in the corner, I'm going to draw the sunshine because my plant needs some sunshine. There, Mrs. Decker's Seed Observation Journal. So this could be uh, Colton's Observation Journal. Um, this could be Nico's. This could be Michael's. This could be um, Brianna's and Riley's and Emerson. So um, just anything super simple. I'm going to hold it up so you can see that I made it mine. I made it the way I wanted it to look. So then I would open it. And the first page is going to say... Hmm, I'm going to pick a marker. I guess I'm going to pick a blue marker. So I'm not going to write on the back because it'll go through. So on this page, on the first page, I'm going to ask for help from a parent. Um, and I'm going to write the words, what we planted. What did we plant? What did we plant? We planted flowers. So I'm going to write the word flowers, then I'm going to draw a flower, kind of like the one I did on the front, maybe a little different. We planted some flowers. Do you remember that we planted flowers? Some of the seeds should turn into flowers. And then we planted um, spinach. So I'm going to write the word spinach. S-P-I-N-A-C-H, and spinach is a green leafy vegetable, so then I'm going to draw some little green spinach leaves. So that's my spinach leaf. So I grew some spinach. We grew some, hmm. so we planted spinach, we planted carrots, and for some reason I can't find my orange marker, so I'll have to make it red. So carrots, looks orange on here, yeah. So here's my carrot, I 
kind of fat on the top and skinny on the bottom. And then it has some green stuff coming out of the top. There we go, carrots. And we planted peas. Peas are green, like spinach. And they kind of live in a pod like that. So there, we planted flowers, spinach, carrots, and peas. So make something like that. And then on the next page, I want you to think, 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 and try not to let mom or dad or the adult in your house help you too much. I do want them to write at the top of your journal, what do plants need to grow? What do plants need to grow? And there are four things. Um, I'm going to pause this for a minute. I want you to think about that and try to draw a picture of it. And then I will come back in and help you. So I want you. Okay, so hopefully you guys worked on that a little bit. And you remember that there are four things. Can you see my four? Four things <laughs> that a plant needs to grow. Um, I'm going to draw this slowly. So hopefully you'll be thinking about it while I draw it. So one of the things we know a plant needs to grow is water. So here are my raindrops. We know a plant needs water. There's the word water. So an adult can help you spell the word water. What else does a plant need to grow? I know we practice this. Let's think about it. All right, I'm going to draw what, the second one that I can think of. So another thing that we need would be sun, or you could write the word light, sun or light, because you know my seeds that are growing in my basement are using light. So water, sunlight, I'm going to get my brown out. Let's think about what that one, the third thing might be that um, a seed needs to grow. Did you think of what it is? Soil because the nutrients or the plant's food is in the soil. So soil, and one more thing, what do plants need to grow? Water, soil, sun, and air. The other thing is air. Air. So your pictures are not gonna look the same as mine, and hopefully an adult at your house will help you to make something similar to this. What do plants need to grow? Those were the four things. Then we have another page to fill out today. And we're gonna write at the top, day five. So I put a video out today that said day five, that said that it's day five, and it showed what our sprout looked like on day five. So I'm going to draw some soil because the plant, the, it was in the soil. And then out of the soil, how did our little plant look? It was a tiny little sprout. I'm going to pause this for a second. I want you to draw what you think that sprout looked like. Give it just, I'm going to give you just a minute. Okay, friends, you can see here that I drew my soil. And I'm thinking about that video where I saw my little sprout. And it looked something like this, a tiny little bit. With just two tiny leaves on it and that is called a I'm gonna write the word sprout s -pr out s p r o u t sprout so that's a tiny little sprout now on my picture I'm gonna show that I have a grow light up there because there's my soil there's my sprout and here is my light there's the top of it and then here's my light coming off. So you can see that I have a grow light. Now you don't have to do yours that way. I'm just showing mine. And maybe I will put some water here to help me remember that I have to water my plant or else it will not grow. So on day five, we had a tiny little sprout break through the soil and that is exciting news for us. So we have put together a very fun little journal um, we were able to use things just around the house. We didn't have to print anything off. We didn't have to, um, all we had to do was maybe watch the videos. 
Um, and you can see what we planted, remembered what we planted, what plants need to grow, and what our plant looks like today. I will hold on to this, and we will come back on some other days, and we will fill in the rest of our pages. Um, and if we were, I made a lot of pages, but if you didn't make enough pages, um, we'll just add some more onto the, staple some more on the back. No big deal. It was super fun making a journal with you today. Bye, preschoolers and parents.